So this video is going to look at two very short topics. So Claudius is administrative changes and his building works. And you can see we have a couple of sections from Suetonius and Pliny and a couple of monument inscriptions. So these are the sources that are going to be sorry, the most positive about Claudius's reign because they all agree that he does a pretty good job at building stuff and administrating, administrative, administrating? administrating whatever of the city sorry i said that like four times <laughs> no, anyway um so he, he's good at kind of like the small details claudius is a small details guy so this is where things are going to be more positive um so it says claudius always interested in the proper upkeep of the city always handy if you're an emperor um so got the regular regular arrival of grain supplies hurrah and um, when there's a fire he basically um solves it and sort of um where is it Da, 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 da. because there aren't enough um, guards sufficient to cope with it um, he then makes the magistrates summon the commons from every district and he recruits loads of firefighters by paying out money to ensure that they were able to put out the fire which is really good there's a series of droughts that causes scarcity of grain um, and it's going really bad he's been pelted with stale bread <laughs> so he took responsible uh, responsibility of it and he ports loads of grain even in the winter and deals with it. Hurrah! Fantastic. So then he solves the food shortage. Thought it was short. Um, he also does these really, really impressive building works. So he, um, he liberates the city from the danger of flooding. Good. He extends into the sea um, in terms of a harbour, which is going to be mentioned further down in another source. So he solves, solves, solves flooding, builds a harbour. So again, positives. Um, even Suetonius says Clodius Publius, no, not numerous, were important. So this is, you know, not a backhand account plumber. So you may not have done many of them, but they were really important ones. Unlike someone like Caligula, who didn't also build very much, and they were pretty stupid things to do. So one of the things he builds is a big, big aqueduct, which is really good. Um, which he finishes that Gaius had started, probably the one good thing that Gaius had done. He obviously hadn't finished, he lost interest. Claudius finishes it. He drains the lake, and he builds this harbour, which is mentioned in source up here. So this is the harbour at Ostia which is important for trade and sorting out grain supply, etc. He brings in lots of fresh spring water, um, called those things, and they run along a stone aqueduct, and it's then distributed in, into a number of ornamental reservoirs. Good, so it's fresh water for everybody. So he undertakes the fusine drainage um, in order for both glory and profit. So essentially, if he reclaims the land, he can sell the land. That's why they're doing it, which obviously helps the treasury. Also gives people farmlands, etc. They can build stuff on it, which is good. And although it took a really long time to do, because it's a big area, uh, so it takes 11 years to dig, it does give masses level of employment to people of Rome. So 30,000 men were kept to continue to work, which is obviously really, really good. So it's a sheet just dropping onto the floor next to me. Um, at Ostia, I don't know why I didn't highlight this. He constructs a new port. Great, wonderful, um, which talks about how he did it and building stuff. You can look at that if you want to, but essentially he builds things. That's good. Pliny, um, most important achievements of Claudius was tunneling through a mountain to drain the Fusine Lake, which we already talked about the lake. It's just talking about the same thing. It talks about how hard it was to do. Um, and it took a really large labour force, like it said earlier, 30,000 men. Um, we've also got Claudius previous build um surpassed previous aqueducts so he builds builds more and better ones uh, talks about the same springs as earlier so all that's fresh water goes to public buildings baths fish ponds water features house private parks and suburban villas it goes everywhere through the city which is really good um and according to Pliny this is no more remarkable achievement in the whole world so this is like surpassing everything ever done okay and obviously, but the, remember the Pomeranian is like the sacred um, boundary of the city, and he expands this boundary, um, which is really good because again, the administrative change allows technically for more housing to be built, etc., and the city to grow, um, which again is really positive. So you can see, whole four minutes of your life. These sources are really, really positive about the building works and administrative changes. It's the one thing that Claudius definitely got right through his reign.